YouTube friends, this is Elizabeth J with an S, and I thought I'd come to you this early morning and do my planner lineup. And I'm sorry if you can hear a weird noise in the background. Um, we have a water truck coming in, filling our tanks with water, so that's the noise in the background. Not sure if you can hear it, but anyway. Um, so I wanted to do my planner lineup. I know. Typically, people do planner lineups in January or February, but my year actually starts in August because I'm a school teacher. So, my planner lineup, uh, my system that I've been using since school started in mid-August, and it's been working out really well for me. So, as you can see, I have three different systems, I guess, that I'm using. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to go through them briefly I plan to do some specific videos on each one of these and how I'm using it in detail. I'm not going to do that today. So um, let's just take a look at what we have. So the first one is my Erin Condren Life Planner. I purchased this in July and I got the 18 month and then decided that it was too big for me so I removed the 20, the, the last six months, um, and sold that on a buy sell trade group. And I had purchased the kaleidoscope cover, but then someone was selling this cover, so I purchased that and I really like it. Anyway, so I used the um, vertical planner. I'm trying not to do too many uh, stickers, I guess. And basically, I use this for my personal projects. That is the purpose of this planner. It stays at home. I do not carry it anywhere with me. I basically use each row as one different type of project that I am involved with. Um, so I have my different crafting projects, my YouTube channel, um, and some other video projects and Instagram things that I'm involved with and then some writing slash online courses that I'm taking. So just kind of planning all of that out, plus my full-time job is quite a lot of things to do. So this really has been quite helpful. So that is the um, Life Planner. The second one that I'm going to show you is my bullet journal. Um, right now I'm using scribbles that matter. Um, and I probably will finish it in by the end of this year and then I plan to try an Archer and Olive. So um, my bullet journal is going to be um, a devotional journal. That's what I use this for. So I um, just created some different spreads and to do some devotion and some quiet time. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, then maybe you'd be interested in seeing how I set this up for my, um, in the, in the video, sorry, lost my train of thought, in the video that I plan to do on my bullet journal a little bit later this month when I show how I plan the new month. So um, that is the bullet journal. Finally, I have my work uh, system and as you can see it is a traveler's notebook and I'm just going to go through what I have in here I'm not going to go into detail about how I plan my teaching that will be a separate video so this cover is a foxy fix that I purchased on a buy sell trade group it's wanderlust leather which is now discontinued so I was very excited to get that um, so what I have in here is a monthly um, planner from Oh Hello Stationery, and I've just set up the months. It has 18 months, but I won't use 18 months. I have a Erin Condren dot grid that I use for sort of the extra things that I need to record and um, certain types of calendar dates that I like to remember. Then I have the undated daily, which I use for my teaching and my lesson planning. Then I have a project tracker from Oh Hello Stationery, and that I use for um, 
homework and classwork and other important things that I need to get from the students. And then I um, have the wellness log. Now the wellness log isn't really a school related log, but because it is petite, I put it in here. And because I am doing a bit of meal recording, and since I obviously eat at school, um, I have decided to keep that in here. And then I have a little um, pouch that I can put some important things that I need, plus um, my pens and a flash drive for some videos. And basically that is my teacher planner. Last year I did use an Erin Condry teacher planner, the big bulky one, and I found that it was way too bulky to carry around, super heavy by the end of the year with all the stickers and everything that I had shoved in there. So I decided to do the petites, which I can rotate in and out um, and just kind of save the petite planners for my plans for next year. So that is my planner lineup. I have my uh, folio, my traveler's notebook system, or if you prefer folio system, if you're an Erin Condren uh, person, although I have seen the new folios and they're looking really nice. Um, I have my scribble that, Scribbles That Matter bullet journal, which is the old Scribbles That Matter, not the new, um, not the new Scribbles That Matter. The new one has like a hundred and something pages, and this one has 213 pages, which I like having a large number of pages, but I know that they have increased the GSM of their paper, so they're putting less pages in the new ones. Um, I was kind of disappointed to find that out um, when I was making a bullet journal for a friend. I had to pick a different brand other than Scribbles That Matter. And then finally, I have my Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. And that is my planner lineup. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you would like to watch more videos on this channel, please like and subscribe. You can share this link with your friends and uh, hope to see you around again soon. This is Elizabeth J with an S.